picture was so singular. Its versions of mistrust. Welcome to Awake and Activate. Today we're going to talk about light code activations, angelic communication, messages given to us, the power of numbers. Many of us are seeing synchronistically numbers repeating in the most oddest places, continuously catching our attention. Please remember that uh, this is a community sponsored platform and any kind of contribution is accepted with gratitude and much appreciation. The book that is to be released at, through the publishing house mid next year, I have put together the manuscript, it's the unedited version mind you, and um, I am releasing that to channel members and to patrons to get an early sneak peek uh, before it comes out onto market through the publisher. And um, I just want to say thank you and any shares and likes and all of that really, really helps out. So that's my way of thanking you by giving you early access to something not available yet, plus other posts that not that are not out uh, for public consumption are given to those on Patreon and on membership. So on with light code activation, angelic communication, messages given to us, and the power of numbers. Do you keep seeing repeating number sequences and patterns over and over and over at specific times in your life, like when you're making a big life decision or when you're feeling stressed or stuck or seeking direction, or perhaps you're seeing these same repeating numbers so often that it's a weekly or even a daily occurrence in your world. Have you grown used to seeing 1111 blinking back wherever you glance over at a clock or a phone or seeing the numbers 911 or 321 on till receipts, car license plates, and other digital displays your eyes happen to fall upon? Well, you're not alone and these numbers are no coincidence. Is it your angelic guides? Is it light code activations? messages coming through to people through numeric sequences and patterns. We're going to get into more information about that and also looking into the meanings behind some of these phenomena, numbers that are reaching out to so many people so synchronistically at this time. But why numbers? What does that mean? In our highly digitalized modern world, numbers are literally everywhere. We all recognize and understand numbers. They cross barriers of language and culture. And even if you're not familiar with numerology, it is an easy to notice repetition and pattern. So, when repeating number patterns appear, they stand out, but you don't have to stray very far to find them. And what do repeating number patterns mean? Repeating number patterns and sequences are all examples of messages from spirit, higher self, or a way of getting enlightened or light codes. Um, numbers hold specific frequencies of energy and when they pop out and catch our attention, it's because your energy or our energy is aligning with theirs. Instead of number sequences, our ancestors probably would have watched out for flocks of birds 
gusts of winds or certain patterns emerging through the back or the bark of a tree. Sorry about that. The spirit messages have always been there. It is just their forms have changed. And for us, they use the language of numerology. These messages are a sure sign from the universe that change and transformation are coming our way. Understanding the secrets held within these number of patterns is key to manifesting our destiny to get those light code activations. In fact, our forbidden number masterclass, <laughs> uh, you know, we talk about sacred geometry and things of that nature. Things that are supposed to be taboo from the general public or we're told that is bad actually is information that we should always take a closer look at because it's very significant and as many people that are seeing these repeating numbers or even it doesn't have to be all of the same number but it can be a numeric pattern of a group of numbers that we're seeing over and over and over again there's a significant meaning to that particular individual and it's important to get that understanding of what's going on within all of us. Now let's talk about seven reasons for seeing the number 111 or 1 colon 11. Reason number one new beginnings as we become aware of these messages that are coming to us through repetitive numbers their repeating is a sure way for to let us know that whatever we are thinking or have a thought on that if it's in the past it is coming into fruition seeing these numeric patterns help us to think on what is good and what is lovely even if we are experiencing our past thoughts, feelings, and deeds. So whatever we have sown out, of course, we will reap back onto us. But the number 111 means new beginnings. So as we're seeing that numeric pattern over and over, we are to capture those thoughts. Are we thinking of things in the past that will that are not good, not healthy? If so, um, we need to let those things go. Are we getting a fleeting glimpse of something that seems impossible in, or improbable? Grab on to that, because seeing this pattern number of 111 is new beginnings, and it's time for us to start setting the stage into this new awareness. Okay, number two, the second reason is to receive into our consciousness that we are able to change the way we think and feel about our past. This gives us the strength within to let go of what no longer serves us. We forgive anything we've done in the past and these one one ones coming in as a constant reminder help us to get the message across to us that we are able to let go of things that we've done in the past and just get over it, forgive ourselves, forgive other people for anything we think they've done onto us. We want to hold on to nothing. We want to start anew. We want to set our mind on high things. We want to be thinking on the message that is coming into us at the time that we're seeing this numeric pattern. What are our thoughts on? What's going on? Are we imagining something fantastic? And then all of a sudden, boom, it's 111 and our eyes fall upon the clock. These are the things that these messages are coming through, whether from higher self or angel codes or from God Almighty that we need to take careful consideration and thought on because this is really important and it's happening to so many of us simultaneously, synchronistically, that there's just, 
There's no way around it. Something amazing is going on. The third reason for seeing repeating numeric patterns such as the 111s, we have become conscious of these patterns and we are no longer thinking they are just a coincidence. We find we vibrate and resonate with the number pattern we are seeing and experiencing. This is attracting many wonderful messages and events to us. Yes, you guys, numbers, which you'll find later on in this presentation, carry a vibration. They carry a frequency and we resonate with the different numeric messages or patterns that we are seeing. And 111 is a mighty powerful one for new beginnings, starting afresh, starting anew, and creating and moving forward, letting go of the old and cleaving on into the new. Okay, now the fourth reason we are seeing the 111s is we are waking up to our true identity. With this, we take responsibility for our past experiences. We learn from them and then let them go. Uh, this allows us to step into the new beginnings that I was just talking about. A new way of thinking and awareness of who we are and what we are able to do. We are unlimited and when we limit ourselves, we are the ones that are putting the limits on ourselves. This is a way, if you're seeing a 111 and you're thinking, I know I'm not gonna get that job. For example, you see a 111, that message is coming through from your higher self or an angelic guide or from the divine onto you to dismiss that thought because there is nothing true about anything that is that causes fear, lack, or anything that disturbs your health, wellness, love, and your safe, and you're experiencing the highest good that everything limitless that you have access to. Okay. We'll be on number five. Okay, the fifth reason we are seeing the 111s is the number one stands for new beginnings. We're coming into a new time, a new way of expressing our uniqueness. We will try to be successful at new things we put our mind to, and we will experience and enjoy this new state of awareness and take consideration of what is on our mind when we see the number pattern. This helps understand the message coming from higher self, angelic guides, or God Almighty. So, just as I was mentioning before, we may get a fleeting glimpse of something that seems completely impossible, you know, that's way beyond the scope of reasoning. But that is the thing we are to grab onto, and that is the thing that we are supposed to hold dear and close. That impossible thing that seems so far out of reach, which is actually your soul is craving it, and the divine messages are coming to you to give you the affirmations to go after that fleeting glimpse from something that seems so impossible, because there's no limits. You are unlimited, and these 111s are constantly reminding us of that. Okay, the sixth reason we are seeing the 111s, they will build up anything we may be hanging on to. Okay, whether we are grieving a trauma or from a past, we get a reminder that we learn from our past, but, but do not hold on to it. Let go and grab onto the intuitive fleeting thoughts, <laughs> I was just talking about again, that seems so uh, out or seems impossible. We recognize through the 111's pattern of new beginnings and these 
constant numeric reminders show us that all, all is possible. It is up to us. We put our own limits on ourselves. We can be limitless. All we have to say is, I'm limitless. I can do all things. And then we need to walk it out and make it a part of our daily activities. I know it sounds easy to say, harder to do, but over time and seeing these constant reminders of these one one ones is going to keep affirming this right back into your mind again, bringing into fruition. If you're seeking a, a career, a love, uh, if you've got any kind of a desire, a heart's desire, something that you want to do, a vacation you want to go, a place you want to see, anything. There's no limit. No limit. And last but not least, the seventh reason for seeing repeating one one ones is to let us know that we have sown what we are reaping back to experience. This is a great message to see as most of us forget all the random acts of kindness and only will remember the things that have caused ourselves or another emotional pain. We completely forget about all of the kindness that we have actually sown out into the world. In the backwards world, which is being flipped right side up, with these synchronistic uh, numeric patterns, angel codes, um, higher self messages, hearing from the divine through numeric vibrational patterns, we are coming back to turning the world back right side up, restoring ourselves back unto our first estate in which we never fell from. We fell in our mind and in our consciousness and seeing these one one ones is all about new beginnings, restoration, and unlimited. We're unlimited. And we will think about our past in one way, but in action, how we really lived it is something completely different. Every random act of kindness, everything that you bought lunch for a friend or a cup of coffee or you gave to any whatever you have done whatever random act of kindness that you don't think again about you just move on those are the things that are going to be reaping back in through your heart toroidal field which is a magnet that is so perfect that it will magnify multiplied with perfection What are the angel numbers? The phenomena of number sequences, sometimes known as angel numbers, is becoming more and more prevalent day by day. Thousands upon thousands of people from all walks of life, from all parts of the world, and from every creed and religion are reporting the phenomena of noticing particular number sequences on clocks, timers, car number plates, billboards, and from all kinds of sources. According to respected authors, therapists, and spiritualists around the world, this phenomena is occurring as a new spiritual awareness. It is taking place and gaining momentum on our planet. As a race, people are evolving on a spiritual level, with the number sequences being messages from a higher source. Your angels and or spirit guides guide you through your thoughts, feelings, words, and vision. They also show you signs, that is, things that you see repeatedly with your physical eyes. One of the signs is repetitive number sequences. Angels, higher self, whatever it may be that you're comfortable with, those are of the spiritual realm and they're doing their best to get our attention and to communicate with us. In this way, they help us to heal our own lives. However, we often discount the signs they give us, writing them off as a mere coincidence or our imagination. 
they're far from that. Soon or, or later, we come to the conclusion we're seeing it way too often, and the pattern emerges, and we pay more attention. Your angels often communicate messages to you by showing you a sequence of numbers. They do this in two ways. First, they subtly whisper in your ear so that you look up at the time to notice the time displayed on that clock is in some form of a sequence or a phone number or on an advertisement or something similar. The angel hopes that you will, or higher self, hopes that you'll be aware and acknowledge what you're seeing the same sequence of numbers over and over by making the pattern and tying it together. The second way in which the angels or higher self show you a meaningful number sequences is by physically arranging or something like a car driving in front of you that has a specific number plate. And I hope that you realize and are seeing the number sequence again. They want you to notice then look into the message further. It's obviously usually it's something that we're thinking about at that very time when that pattern emerges to us, whether it be something we need to let go of or something we need to dive deeper into. Remember guys, intuition are these fleeting thoughts that we have that seem just about impossible for us to achieve. But those are the things that we are supposed to be magnifying in our life. And it's those things in the past that we think that we may have done wrong or that are still dragging on us that we seem to focus on. Those are the ones we need to let go of. When you notice a particular number sequence reoccurring for you, just ask. Ask the higher self or the angels, what are they trying to tell you? And you will find out the additional information that you're looking at or looking for, the answers. Monitor your thoughts carefully and be sure you only think about what it is that you want and stop thinking about things that we don't want. The, the, great, uh, the great thing about this is the universe is mathematically perfect. Uh, you think about the angel Metatron is also tied into sacred geometry. Everything has a mathematical perfect inline tone frequency and it is designed with the fingerprints of the creator everywhere. Hence, so should be everything that we express out from us. And these numeric patterns are here reminding us to keep captive our thoughts and to remember who we are in our true identity. Now let's take a look at numerology. Numerology is a sacred science that has been maintained in its relevance from the ancient times to modern days. Numbers point out the importance of seeing messages three-dimensionally in order to show us the lessons of growth opportunities and guidance contained with each experience. As we recognize and interpret the numbers around us, we may feel more connected to our higher self, our divine being, or the angels who are giving us these messages using numerology. This connection allows the angels to open the doors to an incredible connection that brings peace, hope, and love, restoring us back to the divine being, the child of the Most High, or whatever term that you're comfortable with, to full restoration to our first estate in which we never left from. We fell in our consciousness, and it's time now for restoration. Number sequences interpret in an easy way to receive messages from our higher self for angels. Numbers are everywhere from digital clocks to license plates. Each number has a vibrational frequency relating directly to its meaning. And the higher self or angels or whatever we feel these numbers are coming to us through 
always seek to give us guidance and answers. When they call our attention to a number sequence, it is a positive sign of their devotion. So for the love and for the power that we hold within. So when we see these things, it's always to enhance our growth of who we are. When you notice a number sequence, listen to your higher self, your angels, or the guidance that is coming through um, with, for your feelings, your vision, and your thoughts. The more you notice the signs, the more frequently they appear in your life. Once you understand the signs and the meanings and accept that they are not mere coincidence, but important and purposeful events and messages, you will experience a close and clear communication with the message that you are receiving, whether from higher self, angelic guides, God Almighty, uh, the creator of all, the connection is established through our consciousness, awakening, just everything is exhilarated. You will discover the spiritual signs and messages that are all around you all the time. You may also notice number sequences that signify things of your personal significance, like your birth date, for example, or an anniversary, even a telephone number. In these cases, the message that you're getting, you are getting it even deeper. It's a permanent and personal message. The recurrence of number sequences is a sub subtle excuse me, and constant reminder that something magical, something divine is happening. When you see the number sequences from your higher self or the angel numbers, acknowledge that your higher self, the angels, are telling you that you're on your true path and say thank you, show gratitude for what is being opened up into our awareness for them to communicate more and more with us. Our higher self, the divine God Almighty, or angels, we must not ignore the message. The angel numbers or higher self messages are messages for us. It's best that we heed them, listen to them, the main thing about seeing and acknowledging the repeating number sequences is the fact that you are consciously seeing them. At this time, you are communicating directly with the angels, your higher self, or the divine, and it's a direct connection between you and the message giver. The message you are I'm sorry, the message is for you, and they are about you and your life. It is up to us to take the time to go within, to make the proper corrections to come into balance, to follow that intuition, those fleeting thoughts of those impossible things to be accomplished in our life, and to grasp onto those messages and hold them to, to create to think upon it, to speak upon it, to manifest it out, and to experience it in our life. Listen to your intuition and true self and figure out what the messages are telling you and what they mean to you. Only you will know what lies within you. Your highest guidance is unique for you and you have all of your own answers within you when we talk about and I, we hear this a lot to seek within because in truth everything is within each and every single one of us we're given the mirror reflection outside of ourselves of what's going on within us and those are the messages that are coming to us but today, we're mainly focusing and zeroing in on those numeric, sequential patterns that so many are seeing day in and day out.
Now, let's go over the vibration or the frequencies of the numbers. Since, after all, we're talking about numeric patterns, angelic numbers, higher self messages coming through in numeric ways. The number zero, for example, is the alpha, which is the beginning, and the omega, uh, which is the ending, which there is no beginning and there is no end. So zero is infinite. The ancients proclaimed that God, the God, the God force, is a circle whose center is everywhere and its circumference is nowhere. So zero is the symbol of a nothingness and denotes freedom from limitation in this material world. Zero is the number of God, force, and universal energy that reinforces, amplifies, and magnifies the vibration of the numbers it appears with. So if you have a zero next to a one, whether it be before or after, it amplifies the number that it is next to. So keep that one in thought. Now the number one. Number one resonates with the vibration and attributes of new beginnings, creation, independence, uniqueness, motivation, striving forward and progress, ambition, willpower, positivity and positiveness. The energies of pioneering, raw energy, force, activity, self-leadership, and assertiveness. Uh, it's innative, instinctive, and intuition. The masculine attributes is organization, achievement, and success, strength, or self-reliance, tenacity, forcefulness, and authority, love, inspiration, attainment, glory, happiness, fame, fulfillment, and omniscience and creating our own realities. So that would be the vibrational or frequency sound of one. Now there's always a positive and a negative to each numeric uh, frequency and vibration, but we covered that earlier when I was talking about if it's something that is in the past that we're thinking of when we see these numeric patterns that is telling us a message that that is something we need to disregard. We need to push that out and we need to hold on to those ones that seem they come as a fleeting glimpse of an impossibility. Those are the ones we are to grab onto and magnify because that is our divine destiny. And if you see a, a sequential numeric pattern after having something like that come across your mind, that reinforces that thought, that impossible probability to come into our reality. Now the number two resonates with the vibration of service or duty, balance and harmony, adaptability, diplomacy, charm, cooperation, consideration, friendliness, receptivity and love understanding, personal will, the peacemaker, gentleness and kindness, art, insightfulness, ambition, sensitivity, um, just and justice, selflessness, sociability and support. Um, so much goes on with the number two. Most people think you hear the number two, duality. That's not true. When you hear the number two, think of it as a one and a one next to each other, maybe separated by a zero, being in perfect balance. Now, negatively, yes, it could represent duality, but we know that duality or anything that is against one another is false. We are all in this together, uniquely, beautifully designed and perfect, and there is only one of each one of us, but we enhance each other's experience. We're not meant to compete or destroy or put this under. We're meant to lift up and to be there for one another to enhance this experience and our growth. The number three. Number three resonates with the energies of optimism and joy 
inspiration and creativity, speech and communication, good taste, imagination and intelligence, sociability and society, friendliness, kindness and compassion, art, humor, energy, growth, expansion, and the principles of increase. Remember earlier when I was talking about that you reap in what you sow. I accidentally said it backwards, so let me correct that now. Whatever it is that we reap out into the world, we will definitely sow it back onto ourselves through our toroidal field, which is from our heart, which is an expanded vortex field that is a perfect magnet to reap back in whatever it is that we put out there. So be careful of what we sow out into the world because know that our heart reaps it back in multiplied perfectly. So I hope that, you know, by putting it in here now that we can correct that. Uh, number four. Number four resonates with the vibration and energies of practicality, organization, um, service, patience, devotion, um, patriotism, dignity, trust, and trustworthiness, endurance, loyalty, mastery, uh, building a solid foundation. They're usually conservatist type people. Determination, production and hardworking, high morals, traditional values, honest and integrity, inner wisdom, security, self-control, loyalty, uh, realistic values, stability, uh, the ability to progress, management, justice, seriousness, discipline, system and order. When you see the number four and you see it uh, in repetitive form, know that's a good thing. Uh, when I see fours, uh, my heart just warms and expands because the attributes that come with the numbers of sequential fours, even a four separated by a zero and then a four, it just shows the balance that you have within you. And think of it as being a double two on, um, on the positive side. You are so much more in balance. You're so much more uh, conscious of what is going on around you. So you're that much more uh, listening to the messages and get a, a clearer understanding of what is going on in your environment. Number five resonates with the influences and attributes of personal freedom, uh, the unconventional individualism, non-attachment, change, life lessons learned through experience, variety, adaptability, and versatility, resourcefulness, motivation, progress, activity, experience, travel, and adventure, sympathy, and understanding, social ability, and uh, companionability, release and surrender. You know, number five, you're letting go of anything that no longer serves anything that was put in between our ears that is not anything that is true or that uh, will enhance the ability these beautiful number fives allow us the affirmation through these uh, higher self or angelic message or messages from the creator of all that we are doing our best to release those things that no longer serve and we are moving into such positive beauty and understanding and understanding of who we are. Um, see, it's got uh, uh, promotion, uh, natural flair, uh, courage and being courageous, health and healing, idealism, uh, telepathy kicks in, uh, your vision and a visionary expansion, opportunities, storytelling, mercy, kindness, uh, invention, magnetism, so there's so much that goes on with the vibration frequency of the number five. Number six is related to the vibration of the energies of unconditional love. Let nobody tell you that 666 is a bad thing. Now remember, there's a good and a bad to each number. Either we need something that we need to work on to bring ourselves into balance or the positive attribute is to reinforce 
what a messenger is trying to bring our attention to. Either way, it's uh, number six has balance and harmony, home and family, uh, parenthood, guardianship, service to others, selflessness, responsibility, nurturing, care, empathy, and sympathy, self-sacrifice, humanitarianism, uh, the ability to compromise, emotional depth, honesty and integrity, uh, adjustment, stability, poise, protection, firmness, healing, idealism, so much good. It goes along with number six. And number seven, this resonates with the vibration and the energies of collective consciousness. Now we're dealing with the quantum level where we each put in a little piece of what is uh, projected out on the world stage. Now, mind you, even as you're, we can only change ourselves, the work has to be done within. We will walk through a world of what it is that we're resonating at, and that's the world that we will experience and encounter on a daily basis with ourselves. But on the quantum level, we're all participating on what shows up on the world stage. So sometimes we get affected by what's going on in the world stage, but we're able to resort back to the only one that we're able to change is ourselves and walk in that understanding with that mirror reflection being a part of our daily life. I hope that makes sense. Okay, back to number seven. Has to do with faith and spirituality, spiritual awakening and awareness, spiritual enlightenment, a spiritual acceptance and development, mysticism, intuition and inner knowing, inner wisdom, your psychic abilities or your gifts, all of your spiritual gifts and things of that nature come um, into your awareness and you start utilizing them as a part of your daily life. Uh, the esoteric, the inner selves, the deep contemplation, philosophers, are more, you can see a lot of sevens around philosophers. It's not necessarily judgment, guys. Deep thinkers will look at all areas of the argument before making a determination on they'll be very in balance um, introspection uh, eccentric religion thoughtfulness understanding of others they're a natural healer and healing uh, they have secrets myths rituals peace poise emotions and feelings inner strength endurance perseverance persistence of purpose the ability to bear hardship quick wit, the loner, um, solitary. How many of us, as we're going through this process, spend a lot more time alone? Think about it. So don't think that number seven is a judgment on you. Sometimes when these things click into our awareness, we need some time to adjust to this new understanding. We are manifesting and the manifestation in time and space with good fortune mental analysis, philosophy, and philosophy, uh, philosophical, <laughs> philosophical, sorry, uh, uh, technicality, science, research, uh, science, and alchemy, genius, a, a keen mind. You know, I just went through uh, philosophers are usually good sevens. Okay, now let's go on to number eight. Number eight resonates with the influence and vibration of authority and personal power, self-confidence, executive ability, confidence, inner strength, professionalism, and the professional management, material freedom, success, good judgment, money, finances, riches, manifesting wealth, abundance, and prosperity. This would be the law of attraction, which is again, reaping back in what we have sown, uh, Provision, investments, uh, they have discernment, they're giving and receiving, so they give in balance with the receiving. Thoughtfulness, dependability, self-reliance, um, they're practical, uh, they have a lot of consideration for others, inner wisdom, self-sufficiency, social status, uh, the egos in check, the uh, aggregation, compassionate, uh, executive. So number eight, when you're seeing those beautiful infinity eights, 
that's awesome. Um, and they love truth, uh, exchange, they have good judgment, and they're excellent with problem solving. So if you're seeing those synchronistic eights or an eight separated by a zero, which amplifies the eight, wow, just think about the frequency that you are hearing or that you are receiving by seeing that at the same time as the tone, the frequency, the vibration that it sets off. And now let's look at the final one, which is number nine. Number nine is the number of universal love, eternal, uh, I'm sorry, eternity and faith, universal spiritual laws, karma, reaping what we sow, spiritual enlightenment, spiritual awakening, service to humanity, humanitarianism, their uh, light working and their light workers, leading by positive example. Um, they have clarity, self-sacrifice, their selflessness, uh, destiny, soul purpose, and mission, their generosity, a higher perspective. Uh, they have inner strength, public relations, responsibility, their intuition, those fleeting glimpses that they get, they grab onto them and make them into a part of life strength in character. They learn how to say no um, and able to walk away from situations that are unhealthy. So their discernment is whoo, way off the charts. They are loyal. Um, they have discretion. They're, they're brilliant. And they have problem solvers. They have this inner wisdom, self-love. Many of us struggle with self-love and that is so key and important. Um, freedom, popularity, high ideals, tolerance. Um, they have humility, altruism, and their benevolence, empathy, compassion, uh, nonconformity. So they don't care if they look like the odd one out. They're going to go with what is going on within. So if you're seeing those beautiful nines, hey, you know, wow. Their artistic genius and expansive viewpoint. Um, they have great communication, influence, perfection, magnetism. They're very understanding. They're filled with forgiveness, compassion, and sympathy. So that are that's the tone frequency that comes out of number nine. Um, and number 10, of course, as I said earlier, would be a one that is emphasized by the zero. So it says the number 10 resonates with the vibration and energies of leadership, optimism, confidence, independence, creative powers, success, energy, and all of that because of that's the one. And it's emphasized and amplified by the zero. And finally, we're going to talk about how to read the synchronistic numbers. Our spirit guides, our guardian angels, our higher self, guide us through our thoughts, our emotions, our insights, and our actions. Our guardians show us the signs as a means of subtly getting our attention in order for them to be able to guide us. One way that our higher self or angels or the divine attract our attention is by showing us a physical sign, such as repeating number sequences, which is what we're talking about today, which can appear in all manner of places as we spoke of before, either on a digital clock, your telephone in telephone numbers, license plates, billboards, uh, receipts that you get from the store. The numbers are all around us in everyday life, so it's not difficult for the higher self, angels, or the messenger to arrange for them to be in a fashion where we can notice them. When we recognize and interpret the uh, repeating number sequences around us, we're able to feel more connected to our spirit guides and our, our angels or higher self. This connection allows us to open the door to our inspiring and powerful connection to our higher self, God Almighty, or to our guardian angels in the angelic realm, which brings about clarity, hope, peace, and love. Interpreting these message and meanings are the most important and the effective way of the recurring messages and insights from the higher self or angels to get the messages to us with clarity. 
Interpreting the message is a very personal undertaking, and to decipher them accurately, you must use your own intuitive abilities, just as each and every soul has its own unique vibration and energy, so too do the messages and the meanings of our recurring number sequences that we're seeing. Often when you see the numbers of your birthday repeating to you, it's an indication that you are to concentrate and focus upon pursuing your true life purpose your reason for being, your soul mission, whatever it was that you agreed upon before stepping into this realm of existence. Seeing your own birthday is a reminder of why you were born and the reason for your being in the earth plane at this time. Um, each individual number can be looked at independently. Uh, then the digits added together until reduced to a single digit. So you can take a string of numbers that you see, add them all together until you come down to a single digit number and you can look and, and see what that vibration, which that's what we're talking about today, of that frequency of that number means to you and get the understanding to open up within oneself on what it is that we either need to uh, grab onto to have part of our lives come into being, whether it be our sole purpose, or if it is something we're holding on to that we need to let go. But always use your intuition and your inner knowing to decipher your personal message. You are the one getting the message. You are the one that will be the one that ultimately is able to decipher it. We can help each other, absolutely, but there's only one person we can change, and that is ourself, and there's only one person that can decipher whether it be a prophetic dream, a vision, or vibrational fields from new numeric synchronistic patterns. It is unique, we are unique, and each will be a unique undertaking for the individual receiving the message. The trick is that when you are seeing the numbers that you are, com you are being directly communicated with, you need to get that understanding that something divine is communicating with you and that you are worthy Get that self-love going because you are an inspiration and just your existence can do so much more for other beings around you than you could possibly even be aware of. It doesn't really matter that you don't understand the message in a human sense because your subconscious mind is hearing and understanding and is knowing it for you. So subconsciously, as we talk about energy is neutral, our subconscious is neutral, it still is intaking that information and putting it into action. Uh, even when you are reading the message on this site, um, you know, listening to me portray this to you and try to explain it in the best way that I can, it still is up to you as a unique breaking the mold after you were created because we're here we're each unique but at the same time we're all in this together to enhance the experience we have not to pull each other down but to be there to accent and accentuate the beauty that is within everyone even when you're um, thinking that everything is just falling apart recognize that your existence is doing so much more for the other divine beings that are around you and let that rest upon your heart and bring that up and let that froth up into your consciousness into your heart into your very essence of your being because you're absolutely wonderful so I'm gonna leave it here 
for now since this one has ended up being uh, much longer, but we're gonna get more into what each of the numbers mean, what each number pattern. We went through what the frequency, the vibration of each number was, but we're gonna get more into what the meanings of each number, or when you see them in doubles or triples, um, what each of them could possibly mean, because remember, you, as a sovereign, divine, unique being, are the one that is going to be able to um, transcend and decipher the message that is being given to you by your higher self, your guardian angel, or from God Almighty. The connection is between you and the messenger, and the message is yours, and it's nobody can take that from you so um with that said you guys always share what you know and listen so we can grow uh i'm looking forward to doing a live stream soon and i decided to use my voice on this one since um with the audio books i did uh get some software it's a natural reader i think it flows a little better but i will try to use my own voice as I know how much it means to um, some of you as you brought it to my attention. And I just love you guys all so much. And I hope that this is doing wonders for you um, in your growth because I know how much you do for me in my growth. So, um, yeah, I love you guys. Have yourself a wonderful day. Peace.